Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 30th of 2022. Well, it is titled Comet C217 K2 Panstars. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken about 10 days ago of a comet. And you see the comet there up towards a little bit to the left of center and a little bit above the center. And you can see the distinct kind of greenish color of the coma around the head of the comet there and the tail stretching back off to the right. Now this comet was actually discovered in 2017. So five years ago, as it began its approach into the inner part of the solar system. So we will see it getting closer and closer over the coming weeks. And actually, it will be closest to Earth in about two weeks on July the 14th, it will make its closest approach to Earth, although it will continue to get closer to the sun and will reach its closest approach to our sun in December. So here we see that now a comet is a, a dirty ball, a dirty ball of ice, essentially sometimes called a dirty snowball. And it's mainly ice with some various carbon compounds that tends to give it the green color in the uh, coma around the head there. And when it comes in close to the sun, the heat from the sun will vaporize some of the material. And that will cause it to expand. So we're not seeing the nucleus of the comet here. The nucleus would be uh, something on the order of about 10 to 15 miles across in this case. And it would be completely invisible at this scale. But when it when that material is vaporized off the nucleus, it forms a much larger and brighter area around it hiding the nucleus, but allowing us to see the comet itself. And some of that material is pushed back by the sun. So the solar wind and radiation pressure from our sun will push that material back away from it. So in this case, our sun would be off to the left in the image. And of course, generally, and of course, well below the horizon, because we can still see lots of stars here visible as well. And in fact, the image here taken uh, said about 10 days ago shows it passing through a star cluster. This is an open star cluster known as IC 4665. And the bright star down to the bottom Beta Ophiuchi is the, again the region where it happens to be passing at this moment. Now comets will travel through the sky. They don't flash across the sky. That's a meteor that zips across the sky. But they do slowly change their position much like that of a planet of a planet. And that's because they orbit the sun just like the planets do. So they will slowly change position relative to the more distant stars as we see here. So as we continue to look at this over the coming weeks and months, we will watch as it changes its position and slowly moves through the sky. So that was our picture of the day for June thirtieth of two thousand twenty two. It was titled Comet C 2017 K2 Panstars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be solar system trails. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.